Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, we're talking to this vendor here, kind of a shady feller. And I'm going to take advantage of the goodies I've got, stuff you won't find anywhere else in the camp, procured by special means. Uh, something sounds off. <laughs> Fend for yourself, Fork Tongue. I'll take what I want from the Reds. I want after the Reds get you to you anyway. Okay, can I talk to her? No, don't steal from them. Oh, okay, at least I can. At least I can still trade with her. Griff. Griff is slowly and methodically peeling the skin from a potato as you approach. He looks up, setting the potato, but not the sharp little knife down on the table. What? Ask him if he's in charge around here. Uh -huh. Who's asking? I didn't mean to hit one. He smirks, holds a little knife up in the light, watching a glint. I'm listening. So you're interested in trade. So you're looking for a way out of this place. Save heard he's a good friend to have. And if he needs any help, or if there's anything he needs help with. Ask if he knows about the Register's Cure. Um, what do you got to trade? Sure, have a look. Um, a shitty shield, a flaming dagger scroll. Shoot three flaming daggers in a row, each setting warm. It deals 15 to 19 damage on that. Other than that, just some food. Nothing great. Alright. Let's take our leave. What's this guy in a cage? Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you help me. Shut up, elf. See, the elf seems badly injured. Ask why he's being held here. This clown caught him stealing out of my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say he stashed my where he stashed my supplies. Sounds like someone you'd let off with a snap of the wrist. Yeah. Um. Ask it, Ask what he's meant to have stolen. You sure he's the culprit? Caught him red-handed trying to take off with my second crate after he took the first. Hmm. <clears throat> Went down like a rent, like a rent boy when he grabbed him. Easy. Ask what he's meant to have stolen. Supplies, great food, citrus in particular. <clears throat> he'll take, he'll talk, or he'll die quiet. Requisition. If you find stolen goods, Griff will free him. Yeah, let's do that. All I want is my supplies. Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of in my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you'll have yourself a deal. Can I kill a man over fruit? Oh. Twirls a knife in between his fingers. Divine's gone. The blade is the only god watching over for joy. Alright, let's go. I don't want to mess with him. Uh, what are you up to? I know they look well enough. You're about to pop, ain't ya? Why don't you enter a match and let some of that frustration out right away? What do you mean? You'll find him down the hatch, then. Well, you'll find out down the hatch, then. Okay, oh, that hatch. Alright, we will go down there in a bit. What do you want, butter? Heading into the kitchen. Don't try anything funny around Griff, I'm watching you. Ask if she likes what she sees, ask if there's anything you need to know about this Griff character. See, you don't want any trouble and be on your way. Is there anything you need to know? Well, he runs the place, and everyone including you, everyone in it including you. Better to make yourself useful to him, if you're stuck here anyway. That's what I did. Alright. Los. A gaunt young woman stares intently at the statue of the Seven. One arm outstretched, frozen in place. She has the collar and bearing of a wax sculpture. Gently call to her, ask if she's alright, slowly approach and shake her shoulders, or leave her be. Eh, let's ask her. Her head snaps you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours. They're dark and lifeless, okay, and pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face, and her whole body relaxes. Hi, and who are you? Interesting. Um, frown ask why she's acting strangely. I'll tell her my name, be nice to her. I'm Los, pleased to meet you. She bows low, cat-like. 
Ask if she can explain what she's doing just a moment ago. Or ask how she wound up before drawing. Eh, let's see what she was doing. Oh, that. It's nothing really. It's just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Tell her she's going to have to elaborate. Waggle her rackish eyebrow. And ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. Ask how she wound up in Fort Joy. Have to elaborate. It's hard to explain. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm not. I'm a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front. Friendly lady. And the door beckoning you in for half price. A pretty friendly place to set up. Like a goddamn gold star inn. For dissing bodies. They just love me. They visit often. Ask her who or what she's hosting a few minutes ago. Ask her how many beings she's hosting at the moment. Ask her who was there a moment ago. Now isn't that a question for an, the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I know demons and it doesn't feel like a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a specter? But I wouldn't put money on it. So what brings you to Fort Joy? The scenic views, the smell of rancid soup, and desperation. See the masters hauled you in. Something about being a danger to yourself and society. Say you heard the accommodations were exceptional, or say you're here for good company. And good company. Ha! Huh, I like you. So you want to get the lay of the land together, strength and numbers and all that. Sounds like a good idea. Let's take the mention of the rabbit. Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and join us. Could always use someone else, and it looks like she's kind of a mage character. I like Hail Strike, it's a pretty decent water damage spell that freezes enemies. And Mosquito Swarm, it's a bleed. And this is another thing that we can use to fast travel. Head enough for the prayer to the dead god, to your surprise, it resonates deeper than you. You feel the statue's eyes upon you. If you were to look up, you're sure Lucian would be staring into your eyes. To you, terror fills you, the world tilts and fades. And now we can fast travel to the shrine at the very beginning. And what's this guy? Go ahead, please. As we chant the endless prayer, the divine will rise once more. Hope you're right. So do I, so do I. Alright. Uh, let's go and explore outside instead of just running around talking try to find this guy's crate or that woman's daughter perhaps oh wait she can heal for some reason she wasn't one to control there we go so let's heal our guy here so he's not just sitting there dying and let's go outside Dwarf lady with a dying dude. Perfectly busy at the moment, love. Haven't you got any liquor on hand, have you? This fellow could use a little comfort. Uh, fresh out. All the worse for old Dane. He crossed one of Griff's card sharks. Got a club to his skull. Doomed to be sure. But I wouldn't. But I would have liked to use his way out. See so you had to run with the brutes yourself. Be lucky you came out of it all. Plenty of folks around here haven't, and it's me who ends up wrist deep in gore. She has any potions available. Instead of potions, she hands you an empty bottle and a fat brown mushroom. Mm, a little quizzical. Not scared of a little elbow grease, are you? A fella ought to know how to put himself right. Go ahead and combine the mushroom and the vial. Let's see if we heal. Yeah. Let's go ahead and. Not a skill book. No, stop trying to sneak. Um, how do we open the crafting window again? There's top down view. Okay. There we go. And there's one of these keys. Um, so the mushroom, the vial makes mushroom and the vial. Which make healing potion. And we learned the recipe so we can just make it quickly here. Alright. 
us go this way. It's like part of the fun of this game is just exploring and finding what you can see. Because I think eating corpses. Oh. Hey, Migo's that guy that we were supposed to go and visit. The creature heaves through his lips, gummed with human gore. He turns to you with great effort, pain. Apparently, in every movement, madness screams from its wide bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost, quite lost, quite lost. Carefully, they'll cross your wires. He, he, he. Now, a little query. Where grows the arrow? Hmm, hmm, quickly. Now, for having much time. So you're sorry, but you can't help him. Slowly back away. The hands in your weapon. Can't help you. Maybe you can unscrew your lid and poke around the side and set up your memory straight. Would that please you? Can you remember now? Everybody's filled with Madland. Firmly stand. Firmly tell the creature you can't help and prepare to draw your weapon. Tr tell the creature you can't help him. He needs to leave you be. Rah! Where does the arrow go? Where, where, where? Okay, apparently we are fighting him. He's pretty tough. I think I'm gonna try to flee because I do want... I'm gonna do that one, that lady's quest. I'm not sure if we can still do it, but I want to at least try. He wants Yarrow. So, if we like a plant somewhere or something that he needs. Uh, right, so we're gonna go the other way and try to see if we can find some. Yarrow, don't want to really go around to him this early. Need to heal up too. Or it just teleported us back to the fight. Well, I guess we're fighting then. Um go ahead and try to freeze him and it works at least that won't work yeah I don't know why it teleported us right back to him uh, let's take the chance hopefully we don't slip on the ice cripple him deal a lot of damage to his armor he's not stunned he's just um, slow than the ice and our ladies dead our other character is just out in the middle of nowhere so apparently just one of our characters fled the fight that's why we are in this predicament so yeah let's flee on him too flee failed enemy's too close he's gonna kill us if we try to get away so let's fortify and see if we can get away target of opportunity no we're gonna die Ah, uh, great. Um, guess we're gonna have to come back and resume. That was interesting. Let's try to resume without getting too close. Once we get over here, I didn't know only one of our characters would flee combat, or else I would have stayed and fought him. I thought the entire party would just run away. So. Last time I got here, I actually had the Yarrow plant, so I didn't know he would attack us if we didn't have it. I thought we could just go away. I don't know why, since he already has a ton of people dead next to him that he's eating. But, we can still beat him. He's a level 4, which is kind of tough, but it's going to take a while for us to heal, so I'm going to go up instead for now probably talk to this dog buddy if we had the pet speaking and get something from him or else get some information guard dude Let's see what she's up to you spot an elven woman astonishing beauty her entire poise and being conjures conjures in your mind the image of a polished diamond radiant sumptuous and elegant but too cold or but cold too and sharper than any knife her eyes are focused on some lizard in the distance. And you get the distinct feeling he's unfortunate. He's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped with the gaze of this tigress. Approach her and ask why she's so enamored or decide to quip. So the girl earned his stare. Or earned her stare. Uh, let's ask her. 
No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns and grabs you by a string hold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a long way into your neck. Well, or a little way into your neck. That escalated pretty quickly. Ah, uh, she ca you caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? Tell the truth. You're low, so woman possessed. Serious, another human. A long way from home. You mean her no harm. Tell her to take it easy, or command her to let you go at the instant. Eh, just guess tell her who you are. We all have our demons. Don't think you're an exception. Or you're an exception, girl. A push, a pivot, and you suddenly face her. Needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of the situation, you notice one detail in her beauteous features that breaks the spell of perfection. A curious shaped scar on her soft left cheek. That's where she got the scar. Wonder why she's stalking that lizard. Eh, let's ask her. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, a lizard cut me, cut this thing. This living scar into my cheek, so that, uh, so that with a melody he could control me like a puppet on a string. A slave was I, until I outwitted the master. He is now quite, quite, quite dead, and I am quite, quite free to kill anyone I like. Find out you're no lizard. Politely ask her to remove the needle, so we can talk like civilized people. I'm no lizard, and she drives deeper and whispers. Okay, in truth. It doesn't matter who we are, or it doesn't matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey, you could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. I'll make her an offer instead of killing her, you should, or she could join you. This is going nowhere, bloodshed, defend yourself. Uh, let's ask her to join us. A bright spark of laughter follows your proposal. How amusing, I admit. I had not seen this twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging would soon begin. Make your case, and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Plan to escape, and you need for people with talents like hers. Escape is impossible. Assure her nothing is impossible. A silly thing to say, but in the circumstances, perhaps, a modicum of optimism is a moral duty. Fine, you're on it. I'll sheath my lust for lizard blood for now. Though I can't quite promise that in the sheath it will stay. Should we actually manage to escape? With a casual flick of her wrist, she draws the needle from your neck and smiles as if you just decided to sit down for tea. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with her in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. Okay, so... We got some questionable characters with us, but I'm sure the lizard man here he might be in a little trouble. But now at least we have a full party. I'm getting everybody healed up here. I'm gonna go try to fight that guy, and then I think we can be done for now. Start heading back there and try healing along the way. Too far away, he's standing. Actually, where is he? There we are. Must have just wandered ahead for some reason. Linking party members. Uh oh. Probably should have read that better instead of trying to do it as soon as I just read the headline of it. But let's go now that there are three of us, and one isn't sitting back in town. And for some reason he's using Whirlwind and with no one around him, and then charges. It's actually pretty good for us. Um, Crippling Blow should have done our Enrage first. Go ahead and do that now. Then charge through, knock him down. He's poisoned, I'm poisoned, unfortunately. At least his physical armor's gone, and just shoot him a couple times. Wait, do her arrows hit me when I'm standing there? I fortified him instead of. God damn it. Uh, get out of the poison, 
And I for okay. This is not the greatest fight I've had. Um Regenerate well nobody needs healing now that I'm dead. Let's go ahead and blizzard. It chills our buddy too. Inspire everybody. And it's her turn. Shoot again. Get his armor back down after we decided it was a good idea to give him armor. Let's keep him on the ground as long as we can. Try not to lose anyone else. He's crippled, poisoned, knocked down, and weak. Fortunately, he's fortified for two more turns. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can keep him down and just finish him off. Knock him down one more time and kill him, hopefully. There we go. So you get a level up out of it. He's got Migo's ring. And we need to res our guy. So we've used a lot of resurrection scrolls here, which is not good. But let's loot everybody, level up, and then finish it up for now. Hopefully going into the next episode to not die a few times. Cool scroll. If we get an empty spell book, we can learn our scrolls for, or permanently. See what's in the chest. Some boots, flaming dagger scroll. All right, so let's level everybody up. Level every buddy up real quick. There you go. Strength DPS build on this guy. Uh, warfare or two handers? I think we we'll go with two handers. And then there's one that I really want. Um, plus two movement points every time we get a kill or a killing blow on him, so we can just have him execute people and get his points back. Los, she is our caster. Glass Cannon. With Glass Cannon you start your combat round with maximum AP, but magic and physical armor do not protect you from statuses. Um, Pet Pal. You know what? Let us have her be able to talk with animals. Do wielding magical armor. She does have a necromancy, so I'm going to give her plus one in necromancy. Then even out wits and intelligence. Our hunter. She has a lot of finesse. I'm going to give her some wits to help her crit. I'm going to give her a range specialization. Then probably go for huntsman next. Uh, let's see if we have some opportunity. Let's give this. What do we want for her? Oh, leech. Tax of opportunity. I don't want that for her because she's ranged, so she probably, hopefully, shouldn't be within range. Confirmancy to get one at the start of a turn. Permits your character plus one AP worth of free movement at the start of the turn. Let's give her that so she can get, like, to high ground and whatnot. And we didn't do it to Lizard Man. Because we wanted to get over everyone else and get in a good position. For you. Spell song sophisticated. I'll probably actually want to get that. Um, Leech, Morning Person, Glass Can, the Five Star Diner, Escapist. I kind of want him to have the attacks of opportunity too, but I'm not. Sh I don't remember which one that was called. He's got it. Opportunist. Can we get it on him? It doesn't look like it's coming up. All right. So let us give you Warlord two now. What a rush! Maximum action points. Walk it off the pond, slingshot, savage swordledge, picture of health, morning person. Let's give him leech, he can heal when he's in blood. Then give him plus vitality and constitution since he is our tank. 
and there we go so for now thank you all for watching any feedback and support is always appreciated and i hope to see you all again next time thank you